Hi y'all, welcome back to Bean Crazy Custom Creations. I got some blessings. Yay! I got some more blessings. Uh, so let's go right into those. This one is dragons. Let's see if I can get it out. Sorry about the noise here. I don't really like these bags either. They make too much noise. Wow. I got dragon wings and a dragon head. Wow. Um not real sure. I wanna say Dragon heads. I really do. I hate this plastic. Put mine in Ziploc baggies because I can't stand this plastic. All right. So, dragon tail. Looks like the dragon legs, dragon head, and dragon wings. Yay! Thank you, Miss Wanda. Miss Wanda with Blessed Creations sent me this blessing. So she's going to go and daisy the sugar skull. And I'm going to find another bag to put those in because I am not... I don't want to leave them out, but I am not going to... Uh, let's see what my my little card says here. Put those in that bag. Seal them so I don't have any dirts or dirt. Card says, hey my sweet baby. I seen these and I knew they were meant for you. Can't wait to see the beautiful creation you'll make. I love you. God bless from Wanda's Blessed Creations. Thank you, Miss Wanda. You're going to go and daisy the sugar skull. I got to write you up for that. Now, I received another blessing. And I want to say, and I'm not positive. I'm not real positive who this one was from. But I want to say my cousin, Miss Jeannie and Mr. Allen. Uh, let's see, I got this, which came with this clamp to clamp it on the table. And one clamp goes around the drill, or the mixer. Here's the cord to charge it with. Here's the mixer. Here's a little mixing. Whoa. There's the little mixing things for it, which I'm going to try out. And the little tool. And I'm pretty sure that this is probably from Mr. Allen and Miss Jeannie. But we'll see. It didn't come with the card, so I'm not, I'm not positive it was from them. But I'm... I want to say pretty positive. I don't know whether... I know I can't use this on the table down here. Because it doesn't open wide enough to clip on the table. So there's that. And then... Okay, the little green... The little green thing goes with the it's to set underneath your mixer when you're mixing epoxy. I just stuck them in here because I didn't want to wad them and fold them back up like they were in the box. So those and they're just heavy pieces of plastic because I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're not silicone. It's just heavy pieces of plastic. So we'll be using that. 
And I got this. <laughs> it is a thermal cover to cover your work. Now, I haven't read all the met, all the stuff on this new mat yet, so I don't know if you're supposed to put it over your work when it's setting on the mat, but here's the mat. There's the instructions. The silicone mat in there. And then it comes with this timer cord. That you plug the mat into this and then plug this up. And you can set your timer for 2 hours, 4 hours, 12 hours. So yes, we will be trying this out. Uh, maybe not on these projects I'm getting ready to do. But yes, we're going to try it out and see how it works on my next project that I'm doing. But, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Jeannie, Mr. Allen. Um, I'm pretty sure you're probably the ones that send it, but if I'm wrong, someone else Send me a message and let me know that you sent it because it didn't come with the card, that or the mixer, and I'm not sure who sent it, but I am pretty sure. Okay, so what I got today is two trays, and one of them was the tray that I won on Wanda's Wednesday giveaway that she sent me. And the other one is one that I had purchased quite a while back. So let me get it down and show you what we're doing. Let's get these both over so you can, I can get them both in the frame. Okay. Oops, stop moving camera. Okay, um, the person that I'm uh, who wants this wanted lights to be in it so I've got a little set of battery operated lights that I put in there and I'm gonna pour the resin over the lights and I see where I just nicked my gold paint the other one is for another person and I dusted this with um, solar solar color dust um prism hollow powder and then the other colors i dusted with um let's resin what do i do with that box less resin mica powders the metallic mica powders the let's resin mica metallic powders is what I used to dust that and then I used a deco um, paint marker to paint the silver and paint the gold and I say I'm going to touch the gold up and I hope I can do it without messing it up because my gold was just about out let's see I've seen another gold pen sitting in something down here sticking out of something and I'm thinking wow oh there it is right there in the box oh and it's got it's got it's got gold in it my other one was about to run out and didn't paint very smooth because it was about to run out I'll see if I can get the lid off you know before I do that Hold on one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna put an apron on. Cause I remember shaking those <laughs> shaking the last one I used and I shook paint all over me. This time I don't want paint all over my clothes. So I'm just gonna put this red apron on and hopefully if it 
shakes out of there, it won't shake all over me and my clothes. All right. I need to touch it up. I'm having a hard time getting those lights. Just, I hope they stay down in there when I start pouring the resin. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything to... I don't have anything down here to dab it on. Yeah, dab it on that. Yeah, that's, that's got much more, much more in it than the last one I used. All right, let me just touch this up where I nicked it. Yeah, sometimes it's really really rough paint with these when they're almost out okay I think that's going to be good that's about the best I can do okay so what I decided to do is to use some thermal colors and I got thermal colors from Solar Dust or solarcolordust.com. I have an ultra, this is black to pink, that's not what I wanted. I have black to turquoise, I don't know why I put that one up there. I have, I don't know if you can see, violet to pink. That's what I'm going to put in this tray, violet to pink. And then I also got some jacquard pink pinata uh, alcohol ink just in case it's not not pink enough I don't know how much is in there so and I thought I had gotten a purple something purple for this one hmm well that's my ultra thermals what did I do with all of them because I evidently picked out the wrong. That one's going with that tray. Black to pink. No. I was looking at them. Let's see what I got. Dark orange to light orange. Black to purple. Purple to green. Which I might use purple to green. Or blue to green. Eh. Green to blue. Dark blue to light blue. Orange to yellow. Black to pink black to turquoise uh, maybe I laid it on the table already here it is purple to blue that's what I'm going to put in this tray purple to blue okay and I actually got some let's let's resin purple out alcohol ink out just in case it's not purple enough or I could use some solar color dust uh, glow dust in grape which is purple and i got like three different colors of glow dust in pink i got bubble gum cotton candy and pink taffy so i could actually mix those up with it too i actually think i i know i have a thermal powder yeah, this is a thermal powder, purple to pink. So I might add some of that. I might use that instead. And I don't know what other thermal colors in the powder I have over there. Let me look and see real quick and see if I have a pink. have to go with what I got there okay so what I'm going to do is pause you and oops God, bless me I can't keep them in there for nothing I keep pulling them out 
I've never done it with lights in it before. I, I mean, my, I have. I helped my grandkids do their little kits that I bought for them with lights in it. But I've never actually poured something myself with that. And I didn't check to see actually how much, how much resin to mix up. So, um, if you watch my channel long enough, you know that that's not a surprise. <laughs> I do that quite often. Quite often I fly by the seat of my pants when it comes to, I just, I just wing it. Okay, so let's get the resin mixed up and get these poured. So I'm going to pause you. I'll be back in a minute. All right, welcome back. I'm just mixing up some of this color. And I put pink glow-in-the-dark glitter from Lust Resin in there. Now I'm going to put some scoops of purple to pink. in there I don't I don't know if I mixed up enough but we'll see I don't know and I really hate wasting this stuff it all over my mat all right and then I'm gonna put glow-in-the-dark purple in this cup which I'm pretty sure is probably gonna sink to the bottom and then purple to blue in this tray which I haven't opened Actually, I no. Actually, I don't. The purple's fine. I don't want to use that because I did her hair in purple, and I'm afraid of what it's gonna look like if I use that. I think I'm gonna use the pink taffy. Well. I know I had another little spoon here. Or I thought I did anyway. There it is. I have to put one of the other pink colors in there too. I don't know how much to use. pour it all in. Okay. Alright. I'm going to I don't even know if that's enough but what I'm going to do is pour this into each cup and just see what I come up with. thing I don't like about these mixing cups is a spout. It just seems like it's really hard to pour. And it makes a mess. Goes down the side of the cup and everything else. Okay. Put that back in there. Alright, let's get a stir stick and get this stirred up.
And she told me to surprise her, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Because I think she really wanted pink. But she's going to get purple to pink. Or violet to pink, whatever it was. With pink blowing a dark glitter. And I can't really see if I'm getting that mixed up good. I see a lot of glitter still on the bottom of the glass. Let's just pour it and see what happens. Looks like I got the powder mixed up pretty good. It's just the glitter in the bottom. Hoping the lights don't start floating as soon as I start pouring. But it could happen. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to start here in the middle. And I don't really know how much this is going to take, so I may end up having to mix up some more. Oops. Let's go over here in the corner. Slow down here. Cause I don't think I don't think I'm level. I could be, but I don't think so. Okay, let's get this scraped out. I can't really tell if it's level or not. Get this stuff off of here. I don't want it overflowing on the light set. It looks pretty level. I mean, it's not overflowing in any corner, so it looks pretty level. And I just moved the light set out a little, the switch out a little bit because I don't, I don't want it pulling up out of there. And then all of a sudden, oops! I just did it. Darn it! Just what I didn't want to do, I just did. down in there. Okay. Alrighty. I'll leave it alone or I'll just end up messing it up. Okay. And of course, looks to me like I overmixed again. That's okay. I'll just mix some stuff up and pour it in something. It wouldn't be the first time. Probably won't be the last. Well, 
so I think I better put this in some smaller so it doesn't set up while I'm pouring this other tray, getting this mixed and pouring the other tray. You really put too much in there, okay. What else is new? I'm actually going to turn my mat, plug my mat up and turn it on. Maybe. There we go. Let's turn it on. Okay. Get this other stuff off of it. I don't think there's going to be room for both of those to be on the mat. It doesn't look really... Of course, I still see powder at the bottom here. I'm going to try and get it mixed up. It don't look very pink. It looks more purple than it does pink. I might put a couple of drops of alcohol ink in there. Try and pink it up some because it's looking more purple than it is pink. with that. Would have been easier if I hadn't have overfilled the cup. Yeah, I really overfilled it. For sure. Overfilled it. That looks any pinker than it did. It's kind of pinky purple. Alright. Get the other tray over here and get it poured. And then she can just pick between the two trays of what she wants. Start in the center. Let it run out. Looks pretty full. I don't want to, no, I don't really want to pour more because it looks pretty full. Okay, so I got lots left to do something with. And I do have a little dragon that needs some pink, some more pink. I just dumped a little pink off in it. Let's put it. I got a bunch there, but I need to do some more wall sockets too. Darn it. Getting this everywhere. I'm trying to keep it cleaned up. Alright, maybe I'll just pour both of them. 
get rid of this pink. Although I could do a pink wall socket. a bunch there that I'm going to have to use up, but let's get this wall sockets over here. It's like I'm not going to use them because I'm really just pouring them from my house. So, get it over here where you can see it as much as possible without setting it in the stuff I've spilt. right down the glass. Okay, is that so much but it's full. Okay, I don't want to pour any more in there. Uh, there's my skull there, which I don't really want to pour. I do have something else I can pour, but it won't be anything I can show you all on YouTube because <laughs> it's something my cousin. <laughs> it's something my cousin got and she thought we needed them, so. It's in a purple, which we can make it purple. We can put some grape in the next part of it. Got to mix up some more anyway. So let's put some grape in there. Blow in the dark dust. And with the pink. throw in more of the glitter. That, that kind of glitter. I'll just throw some of this iridescent stuff in there. And pour. This time I, want, I don't want to fill the cup up all, all the way because it was hard to stir last time. So I don't want to do that already running down the front of the cup anyway. <laughs> Give me that stick. Let me see if there's any more purple in there I can get out. Stick it in there.
I have got to work on the no on that ring notification thing. It's driving me crazy. I don't know about anybody else, but I need, guess I need to set the motion up some so it won't go off every time there's a squirrel or a cat or whatever goes past my front door. I have my neighbor's cat likes to come over and camp out on my porch. So every time it comes over, that goes off. And it drives me nuts. Because my dogs are barking because they hear it saying there's somebody at the front door. And they've already figured out now that what it means if there's somebody at the front door. So they... There goes my camera. When it says there's somebody at the front door, they they know. They go. And check on it. Start barking at the front door. Alright. There's that. I don't know that I need another... set it over there. I'm going to set it right here on this mat. Alright, let's get this and I'm going to pour I don't need another, I don't need a double one. But I can pour this one with the purple. Oh, let me get you over here so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to pour this light switch cover. up yet, but I'm going to. I didn't put anything in this but glitter. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I will pour another double one, but I don't, I don't have any more doubles. So, I can pour one just so I can use it up. Because I still got... Ooh! Well, that was not a smart thing to do. Didn't realize I was going to get that in it. That's a mess. Yeah, I need to get another one out. <laughs> and I'm not doing so hot. It's about a... Eh, it's pretty close to 11. Um really been sleeping good and so yeah, I guess I'm running down the side of that alright I am with this out of the way for the moment I'm going to slide this one over there the purple one over there slide the plug in over there I wished I wish it would have came with more plug ins I guess I should buy another set. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this one, I think. Still got enough there that I can pour something else. I don't think this is setting very level. There we go. Did order me some more deep pour so I can redo my pyramid. Yeah, I don't know if that's level or not. <sighs> Bless me. Actually, I'd like to have a different mold. I've been pouring a lot of skulls. Let me go see if I can find my um, unicorn. 
for you, Lord. pull this jar because I like this jar so I'm just going to pour it I've got plenty Mix some more up. Squidgy it. I'll squidgy it because I really don't want major air bubbles. Okay, let me. Some more. And fill it all the way, okay. Sorry. Can't talk to you guys, so I gotta talk to myself. <laughs> that's horrible, but that's the way it is. Okay. Now, what did I use? Let's, um,. Let's use some of this purple. Let's mix some of this purple in there. This is a thermal purple. Or it's supposed to be anyway. I seem to be spilling it everywhere. thing about it is I, I'm, I'm not I'm not tired I'm really not tired I just <laughs> I'm just a little fumble fingered right now and let's put some let's put some shaved ice in there too Okay, that ought to be good. Okay. It's starting to get a little thick. Not warm, really, though. Which is weird, because you would think it would be getting warm, but it's not. Getting a little thick, but not warm. I'm trying to make sure I get all that powder mixed up. out of the way because I got oh I got a spill going here That's it. yep sure do
a big old spill. All right, I'm going to pause you while I clean this up. All right, I'm going to finish pouring this. Uh, I didn't get much of the mess cleaned up. I tried. But it didn't work too well. Let's not over pour this. Because I'm going to have to move some stuff in order to have room to set all this stuff over there. I don't know. That was fine. I don't know what happened to it. It was working just fine, and then all of a sudden it just started running over. It's only part, it's only halfway on the mat. And I can't get it the rest of the way on there. I'd like to, but I don't see that happening. set that over there. I will pour it, finish pouring it, but I want it to be setting where I'm going to have it so I don't have to move it. Okay. So I might have a big mess to clean up. check the butterfly because I don't want air bubbles in the butterfly either. another spill going over here on the corner of the table <laughs> just from moving those little dragons over there because evidently that ain't level and they're just spilling out everywhere get it off the table before it runs off all right let's try I got enough, I got a big enough mess to clean up there. Alright, let's go ahead and finish pouring this lid. And I'm going to move it over here and hope it's level. supposed to go any further. I don't really want it to go any further. I don't think it's supposed to. Alright. Now I got some more to do something with here. So, here goes my trusty skull mold. It's okay. I'm going to have plenty of them. This won't be all the way full, I'm sure, but that's okay. I'm sure I can. I'm sure I got some more in here that I need to get rid of. Well, 
you know. You always, <laughs> you always get more than what you can, <laughs> what I started out to make on my, <laughs> on my channel because I always over mix. I need to start measuring because I got a lot of stuff that I pour and I don't need some of it, but you know, that's the way it goes. That's more purple on here, on the stick. I don't know why it won't come off, but it doesn't seem to want to come off. Isn't like I won't over pour or over mix again, so I just finish it off in a different color. Sometimes those are the ones that come out the coolest is when you over mix and then you pour have to pour one color into something and then you end up pouring a different color in there. Sometimes those really do come out to be the coolest ones. Alright. Now I need to do something with this dragon that's let's push some off of here. Yep. Yeah. And I don't have to worry about it dripping again. made it better. Okay, now I need to get my tools cleaned up. Get my crap wiped up that I made the mess with. I even got it on my mat. Alright, well, hopefully I'll see you in the morning and we can unmold these. Good night. Welcome back, um, Beating Crazy Custom Creations, Miss Francis, and we're going to demold the trays that I did. They, they seem a little soft, but I have lots of stuff that I poured. So let me get you down. All right, let's Let's actually start with this one, which is stuck to the table because it overflowed a little bit. I don't know how well those lights, I wished I would have set the lights in there with uh, UV resin because I think that I wouldn't have had them floating. I had to keep pushing them down in there because they were floating. But let's get it pulled out of there and see how it turned out. Wow. All right, it is. It's pretty cute. I need to put this back in the bag. And I left the bag upstairs, so I'm going to stick it in this other bag I got down here because I don't like to leave them out. 
and they get hair and everything else on them. Alright, there's that one. Actually, it turned out pretty cute. Um, and we'll do need to do a little trimming. Alright, here's what it looks like. It does have glow-in-the-dark glitter in it. And there's the lights. I think it turned out really cute. Okay. Well, let's get this other tray out. It is still a little bendy, that's for sure. And I got my sticks there stuck to the mat. Boy, were they stuck. Okay, is that one over there? Let's take this one out. It's kind of bendy, too. Yeah, it's really bendy. Yep, it's really, really bendy. It's gonna have to set for quite a while because it's too bendy. in the bag too. You really can't see her hair very well. Boy, this one's really bendy. But this is what it turned out like. Use the prism solar color dust um, prism hollow in it, and boy, it's it's really bendy. So I'm gonna set those over there on my drying or setup mat so they can set up the rest of the way. those two. I think they turned out pretty cute. Uh, now I have this jar that I did. Hopefully it's not bendy and not real bubbly because I tried to get tried to keep the bubbles out of it. Okay, let's see here. The butterfly was kind of hard to get out. The last time I did this too. Might have to squirt some alcohol in there. Alrighty. There's the lid. No bubbles. Just needs a little trim from a little over pour. Here's the jar in which I poured pink and purple in. Alright, let's keep rolling it if we can. It's, it's bendy too. Hmm. Which doesn't make any sense why it's so bendy. Wow. It's pretty bendy. It's pretty bendy. 
wouldn't have thought I'd been that bendy, but it is. So it'll have to set up some more too. But here's the lid. And there's the jar. And it is. I think I, I think I used the thermal stuff on it. Which makes it change to a different color. Plus it's got glow in the dark glitter in it too. But there's so much light coming in that window. I don't know that you'd be able to see it. It's glowing, but you really can't see it. All right, there's that. I'm going to set that over there, too, and let it set up some more. Okay. Oh, well, I have... Let's see, what did I, what else did I do? Uh, some plug-in covers. Boy, it's bendy too. Woo! Really bendy. But the other one was too. So, I mean, it'll have to, it'll have to set flat. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to set up. Alright, there's that. And it has glow in the dark glitter in it also. And I want to make me another light switch cover. But I have some Betty Boop stuff to put in it so it can go in my Betty Boop room. <laughs> this one I think I poured a little, I should have poured a little more in there. Oops, it's bendy too. That's okay, it'll set up. It's just going to take a while longer because they're pretty thin. Okay. And I did another double one even though I didn't really need it. Because I think I don't. Well, I might have another double switch. I thought I only had one, but I think I might have two. And there's that one. Alright. I'm going to put those over there, too, because they're going to... My other ones are hardened. I'm going to move them out of the way and put this one in the other spot. one more item but I'm not sure I'm, I'm going to take it out but I'm not sure I'm going to show anybody what it is because it's not something that it's something that my <laughs> cousin wanted she said we needed one so so if you're offended by it don't look Anyway, that's it for that. I don't know about these little dragons. Man, that overflowed really badly. Why is it every time I pour this and I just pour a little in it, it still seems to overflow? I don't get it. It's 
it's really soft, so I can probably peel that right off. Probably should do it right now while it's soft. Whoa. Yeah, it's still pretty. Where's my scissors? Soft. And that's the way I like to get it off of there is when it's soft. And of course, now that I'm down here, my dog's going to bark every five minutes. Yeah, this one's going to have to sit for a while to harden up. off of there while it's soft. It's easier to do. a list of everything I use because eh, I got a bunch of empty packages there and then some that there's another piece to get it out of there on the little tail and the tail wants to bend but I could pull it loose and make it easier to cut yep My ring didn't go off, so I know that there's no one at my door. But half the time when it does go off, there isn't anyone at my door. I do have a package coming, but I haven't seen I haven't seen a notification that it's being delivered today. So flip this out while it's soft. figured that one out either. Um, I didn't like where the dragon landed in the egg the last time and then I did it again and I still didn't like it. So I have to figure out how to... I did over half... I'd say half the egg I did in UV resin and then I put the... Um, I put the dragon in it and set it, but I didn't like the way it turned out. I didn't like the way the dragon landed in there. So I guess I'll have to do it again until I get it where I want it and remember how I did it so I don't screw it up again. All right. All right. There's those two in which I will actually they're so soft that I probably could get them to stay together and get them in the right place and get them to stay together. For a little bit, just 
just got to get them in the right place first. And it's, it's not, it doesn't seem to be happening. Okay. Whoa. All right. Well, that's it for that video. Um, like, share, subscribe. And, oh, yes, I need to, I need to put Miss Wanda in Daisy the Sugar Skull. Now, where did my pen go? And I'm not putting Miss Jeannie or Mr. Allen in there yet till I'm positive that they actually were the ones that sent me. But I am going to put Miss Wanda in there because she did send. She sent me that. Okay. There's Miss Wanda. Boy, that's so. And let's get the skull out here. Put Miss Wanda in there. Done. I need to do my shout outs. Okay, shout outs. Wanda's Blessed Creations. Stacy underscore the Crafty Cat. Cabbage Patch Soap with Miss Laura. Raz C. Liz. India Brady Art. Art by me by Andrew Walker. Billy Holman Creations, Cosmic Carol Creations, um, let's see, who else I got? Paranormal Girl, um, and uh, I think it's Naptime Creations. And that's my shout outs, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to get ready to start another one. See you on the next video. Bye for now.